hello welcome to everyone in this video today we want to discuss some uh, important question for upcoming examination 2022 for <laughs> bsc physics honors this is part two uh, there are already we discussed in part one some question so if you want you can go through the description box there are link are given there you can go through that one today we want to discuss 10 question so look at this first question says explain how maxwell modify the ampere's law you know this is ampere's law that is v dot dl equal to mu dot i n close consider a situation there is a capacitor and if you was to find out the magnetic field due to capacitor if you consider in that region you can easily find out the v dot dl equal to mu dot i n close because there is the i including within that loop no problem but in case of this surface you can see there is no current flow so the magnetic field must be zero but there are presence of magnetic field so what is the problem of this equation something is wrong in this equation and this is corrected by the maxwells he introduced uh, this uh, displacement current density which actually arises due to the changing of the electric field so the current the current flow can mag produce the magnetic field as well the changing of the electric field also can produce the magnetic field and this is as equivalent to a current density which is nothing uh, but the changing of the electric field so this current density actually produces the magnetic field <coughs> right so this uh, modified equation actually known as the Maxwell modification of Ampere's law okay here the note are given here you can write down in the examination I just you I just tell you your the main concept okay the lines you can return in your examination no problem next is uh, explore the physical significance of displacement current I just told just recent before that is the conventional current is flow due to the electrical flow due to the <coughs> flow of electron the conduction current has happened but in the displacement current there is no flow of charge there is changing of the electric field just before this exercise in the capacitor there is no flow of charge <coughs> sorry there is change of electric field right so displacement current arises due to the change of the electric field okay and in case of good conductor displacement current is negligible <coughs> compared to the conductor current is conductor current is much better compared to the displacement current next question says starting from actual equation so that the any <coughs> initial charge density in a conductor dissipate in a characteristic <coughs> style so <coughs> Maxwell equation says divergence is equal to rho by epsilon. For quantity equation, divergence j equal to <coughs> minus del rho by del t. So put j equal to sigma e. So divergence e and this is rho by epsilon. From here, you can easily find out this equation and you can see this is decay with its characteristic time. This is actually question of uh, Calcutta University 2000. 21 we already discussed this previous year question next is consider the parallel plate capacitor immersed in water the charge of the capacitor varies according to this one and this frequency is like that the frequency uh, permittivity permittivity is related to this one okay compute the <coughs> conductor current to displacement current ratio Conductor current equal to sigma e convex uh, displacement current equal to this one. So if you just put this value, it will be this one. <coughs> <coughs> State and prove the pointing theorem. Pointing theorem actually says the decrease in the electromagnetic energy is equal to the <coughs> uh, work done due to charge inside this uh, region and the rate of electromagnetic flow energy of the suspect boundary. That is the decrease in electromagnetic energy is equal to the work done due to the charge inside this conductor and the electromagnetic energy through the surface of this volume. Okay. So this can be proved using the Maxwell equation. These two equations are you know, taking these divergence, you will be this one. You can do this calculation very well, I think. 
uh, after that you will be get this one and finally you can see uh, this expression after that taking integration finally you can obtain this equation that is <coughs> okay take this screenshot and note down you can easily find out this equation okay next is find the average energy density of uh, for a plane monochromatic way <coughs> in case of electric field the energy is half cv square because in the capacitor this is half cv square c is epsilon a by d this parallel plane capacitance and v is the e to d ignore that is e equal to v by d so v equal to e d so it is what so energy density divided by volume so half epsilon is square in case of magnetic field energy is half li square l is this one and i is this one because v equal to v dot l i by so <coughs> so energy density will be this one okay so the total energy is this one next showing that these two energy are equally distributed you just obtain this total energy is this one and here you know this relation which says that these two are equal so total energy equally distributed <coughs> sorry how the and maxwell's equation suggests propagation of electromagnetic wave in a linear homogeneous dielectric medium having no free charge in homogeneous dielectric medium, electric field is uniform, so diverge is equal to zero, so no equal to zero, no free charge. D is given here, epsilon given, what is the value of E? You know D equal to epsilon E, so E equal to R by epsilon. So find the inverse of epsilon and multiply it with D, you will be getting this one. <coughs> Sorry. Give the electric field. What? Find out value. Velocity of wave refracting to stop the video. You know from Maxwell equation k dot e equal to zero and <coughs> k equal to this actually k zero into this one. You know omega t plus k. So this is k and this is e. So a equal to this velocity omega by k refer to the c by b okay actually my voice is very problematic at this moment try to understand and solve this question <coughs> according to the so <coughs> sorry so that's it for today thank you